The stretches of road ahead of me have gotten shorter lately. I found myself lingering in Oregon, choosing to explore the little nooks in the mountains rather than chase the wide open road. It's nice to slow down a bit. The road can be tiring and lingering feels indulgent. This week, Rio and I celebrate two years together. I truly don't know where I'd be without this dog. Two years ago, she was found as a street dog covered in mange with a broken hip and a broken pelvis and had a date to be euthanized. I'm so grateful that both of our luck turned and somehow we ended up together. Seeing her run like this, knowing she spent so much time unable to use her rear end, just makes my heart so happy. We've both come so far in these two years together, and I couldn't imagine life without her. I love you, Rio. Here's to many more years together. I found a little place tucked in the trees to call home for the night, where I would figure out what was next for me. <sighs> hey, Ray. Guys, I have been hard on myself lately. <sighs> I don't know what's going on. You know when you just fall into a little bit of a funk, and I just... I really need to be kinder to myself. I've been really critical of me lately and I think I need to cut it out. I think what I'm gonna do, okay, so I just made an appointment for this girl and my other girl, the bus, for to have spa days. I made an appointment for the bus just to get some preventative maintenance done and I'm also gonna upgrade my alternator, which I'm pretty excited about, but I was like, heck, Maybe I should do something for me. So there's this like sunset dinner thing you can do on top of the mountain here. And uh, I just booked myself a reservation for one. <laughs> uh, Cause you know, uh, uh, it only looks like there's me here to take me out on a date. So <laughs> I'm sorry to leave Rio, but they don't allow pups. I know she's pissed about it too. I know, I know, not my rules, honey. I read something somewhere that in my mind goes a little bit like this. Love is like a tree. It goes through seasons and it needs to be nourished, tended to regularly. And the moment it stops growing, it starts to die. This has helped me so, so much with my personal relationships, including the relationship I have with myself. It just reminds me to be proactive about my love, notice its seasons, and nurture it when I'm noticing that something might not be right. So, I broke a door coming up this road. I'm gonna try not to break anything going down. So, here's, here's hoping. Are you ready, girl? You ready? Put your nose out the window. Okay. Come on now. Just uh, wiggling back out of here, don't you? Oh, heck. 
I just ripped. Nope. I uh, decided I wanted to move the bus forward a little bit, and uh, I getting I'm getting no power now. Zero zip, none. No lights, no nothing. I don't know what is going on. Hopefully, I can figure this out before my date. Okay. Nothing on the dash. What if I open the door? No ding. Turn on the lights. Oh. Whoa. And now I have power? I must have a bad connection somewhere. My connections to my batteries looked good. Could be my alternator? It's weird that for it to come and go like that. I have an appointment at the shop on Monday to upgrade my alternator. And now I've got no power. Oh, and now I have power. Is it an ignition problem? The power's confused here. Turned it back off and now it won't start again. It was very weird. I feel like it's an ignition thing, but what do I know? I should really talk to somebody smart. <laughs> Guys, I am texting Ben from Chrome Yellow, you know, my buddy old pal who helped me build this. Yeah, he's a smarty pantsy. I think he's gonna help me out with this. We'll see what his theories are. And I might as well just take myself on a date because I'm not going anywhere, so. Okay, so Ben also thinks that it could be a, a an ignition problem. So I was on the right track and uh, yeah, but I'm late now. <laughs> but I'm about to be late for my day. I've got like five minutes and I got to travel all the way across that giant parking lot. Try to take the chair lift up. I got to get dressed. Oh my God, very bad impression being late for a date. Okay, I'll see you at the chair lift. Well, didn't get a chance to fix my hair or touch up my makeup, but I put on a cute little dress. Guys, I'm late to my date with myself. I honestly don't know if they're gonna let me have my table. They said they have a 15 minute grace period. It means I've got 10 minutes to get across the parking lot, up the chairlift, and to the restaurant. Wish me luck. You know, life is full of twists and turns and I'm just going to forget about the bus problems right now and let myself enjoy this date guilt-free. I really love the fact that I've come to a point in my life where I can take myself out and not feel weird about it. 
who created this expectation that indulgence and enjoyment should really only happen if it's deserved or shared. So I'm just going to enjoy this night and think about my problems later. I started dinner with an old fashioned and did one of my favorite pastimes is people watch. I just really love seeing the love and the dynamics of other people. Just makes my heart happy. For my first course, I had the potato and artichoke soup with chive oil drizzle. For my entree, I had the grilled salmon that came with asparagus, rice noodles, Thai coconut broth, and pickled radishes. It was absolutely divine. Last, but certainly not least, I had the strawberry espresso tiramisu. Sometimes moments like these make me wish that I had someone to share it with, but living alone on the road, that can be tricky sometimes. And I'm just really, really glad that I have a relationship with myself now that I can really enjoy these moments with me and I don't have to miss out on any of the romance of life just because I don't have a partner with me. It makes me actually really excited about the love and relationship I'll have in the future. I just know it's going to be so good. Could have stayed at the top for sunset, but I just missed my girl. Where is she? <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> oh, just taking my girl. On a sniffari, I call it, where we go for a walk and we just stop for all the sniffs. It's not about walking, it's about sniffing. <laughs> she loves it. She's a nose dog for sure. Um, but I think I'm just going to stay camp in the parking lot. So if I can get it going in the morning, I can just drive it down and I don't feel too worried about losing power when I'm driving because that was my biggest concern. Oh, and I left it idling for some time just to test it because that would be scary trying to get down off the top of this mountain and all of a sudden my power goes out. Hopefully uh, she'll just start up tomorrow with a little sweet talk and I can get down off the mountain and I already have the appointment on Monday at the mechanic. So as long as I can get through this weekend, we'll be fine. Worst case scenario, if she won't start. I don't know. Maybe just get the alternator up here and swap it myself. Yeah, we'll fix that in the morning. Successful date. I feel so much better. I really do. Good night, honey. I woke up the next morning with some butterflies in my stomach, unsure of what my fate would be. This time, the dice rolled in my favor and the bus started up and I got safely down the mountain. I went to my favorite coffee shop, did a couple of errands, and ended up stranded again in a bus with no power. After trying over and over again, crossing all of my fingers, I finally got the bus started. But I decided to drive straight to the mechanic shop and sleep in the parking lot overnight to not risk getting stranded once again. In the morning, I swapped my alternator, did some preventative maintenance like an oil change, transmission fluid flush, and new brakes. Then it was time to solve my power problem. My friend Ben had mentioned that maybe it was a relay problem, and after suggesting that to the mechanic, 
we found the issue quickly. The connection to my starter relay was loose, and since tightening that, I haven't had an issue since. After leaving the mechanics, Rio got her nails trimmed, and I, on a whim, made a big decision. I decided that I was officially going to Descend on Bend. Descent on Bend is a nomad meetup festival here in Oregon, so get ready for a wild turn of events in the next video. Although this lifestyle can be frustrating and challenging at times, to me it's all worth it. I get to live on the fringe of excitement and curiosity with no two days ever being the same. I can't wait to see what's down the road.